Hello everybody. I'm Shakira Muhammad Taib, my supervisor, Dr. Rebecca De Costa. Uh, I'm so grateful to be here to, uh, to share my part of my research, wearable mobile computing application, pervasive computing perspective. Uh, introduction, wearable mobile computing application, and I will show my proposed conceptual framework, materials and method, preliminary finding because it's just enter my first months of my third year, and way forward and references. What is pervasive? I initially presented by Weiser. The concept of pervasive, or some call it ubiquitous, uh, invisible, context aware, embedded uh, technology, integrations of computing power and sensor into everything, in which virtually uh, every object has processing power with a wireless or wired connection to global network serving user in seamless and unconscious interaction. Pervasive means enabling uh, anytime, anywhere communication and mobile computing as the necessary component of pervasive computing. Weiser stated that uh, most profound technologies are those that disappear. Wearable mobile computing is one of the necessary elements of pervasive computing. Wearable technology right now is the phenomenon of an emerging innovation from the personal computer era to the wearable smart device uh, right now, which uh, we can hear about uh, smartwatch entering this uh, uh, era. Applications of wearable uh, as a follow right now uh, in healthcare and monitoring system, fitness and wellness, infotainment like a smartwatch and military and industrial. Uh, you can hear about uh, Apple iWatch, iRing, Sony Smart Band, Google Glass, Bluetooth Ring, and Smart Contact Lens as a wearable using wearable mobile technology. This is what wearable attribute: uh, hands-free, uh, always on, environment aware, connected through Wi-Fi or 3G, uh, 4G, Bluetooth or NFC. Attention, uh, less distraction when receiving alerts or reminder message, and development uh, of the platform, third-party apps or API partner and accessories. Pervasive computing is embedded technology uh, can uh, help in uh, solution to many problems in various fields in intelligence to sense and interpret and support interface like uh, usage, contact and personality. Also, uh, applications in environmental monitoring, healthcare, intelligent transportation system. And also, uh, wearable mobile computing may support pervasive computing by embedding computing in many uh, daily life components such as clothes, uh, clothing, glasses, smart glass, or hardware and wearable object like I said, a uh, smart watch. The increasing use of smartphone uh, has uh, speed up the needed to pervasive computing. The phenomena of mobile phone in uh, our daily activities reach the mass of adoption right now, and also same in Malaysia. My focus research is Malaysia in Malaysia. Uh, mobile service uh, such as mobile internet, mobile banking, uh, online learn learning, entertainment and socializing, uh, socializing have become common activities using mobile uh, smartphone. S studies on acceptance of mobile computing has been developed <coughs> in many mobile banking services or healthcare. However, the study of user acceptance about the emergence of mobile, wearable mobile computing in uh, this digital landscape is still at infancy stage. Hence, uh, my uh, research will evaluate the potential user acceptance of wearable mobile computing. Mm. So my research uh, adopt the factors from technology acceptance model because uh, of uh, innovations of technology. Uh, this uh, model consists of uh, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use introduced by Davis. Also, uh, because of uh, users' adoptions, observability factors is chosen from innovation theory, uh, innovation divisions of innovation theory, and the novelty of uh, this 
propose framework, I add mobility, personalization, facilitating condition and perceived enjoyment as the integrated factors and the social influence and application space as determinant of key construct. That are uh, my proposed conceptual framework that I said perceived usefulness and perceived is of use from time, time model and observability. Mobility is the um, from the uh, mobility, mobile technologies factors and personalization. So uh, my framework will see how users will uh, respond to or accept this wearable technology. Uh, material and methods. This research uh, using a quantitative approach, like uh, right now we talk about quantitative. Uh, employing survey-based uh, questionnaire with five-point Likert scale. Uh, currently, my sample is two, uh, seven two respondent, um, uh, comprising students and professional as the potential adopter in central regions of Malaysia. I'm using clustering sampling based on the char characteristic of their prior internet knowledge and experience in mobile technology. Um, since I just uh, get my data, so I have a uh, preliminary finding. This the factors that I have chosen and the Cromba Alpha for the questionnaire test uh, suggested above 0 0.7, 0 0.70 and the result come out all above 0 0.70. And I want to know the correlations for the behavioral intention. So uh, as my colleague just now said, the correlation is uh, weak if 0 0.1 to 0 0.29 and uh, medium is 0 0.3 to 0 0.49 and mine is quite uh, large, all above 0 0.5, the correlation for factors chosen towards the dependent variable intention, behavioral intention. Um, my way forward, after this, I'm going to do descriptive analysis, a t-test, ANOVA, to check the difference among the demographic, computing knowledge and prior experience, the customization, and the final is to test the model. Before, this, I, uh, before that, I need to do the data sc uh, screening, test of normality, factor analysis, using principal component analysis, to check the multicollinearity, because uh, I want to do multiple regression, um, single regression and multiple regression. And thank you. <laughs>